Every child needs a friend. Every child needs a hand. Every child needs someone in their corner. The learning's just begun. So come and have some fun. Inspired to be anything you want. Welcome to Kyra's Corner. Butterflies, let's learn. Oh, <laughs> hello, beautiful butterflies. It is so good to see those beautiful faces out there. If you were just wondering what Miss Kyra was doing, well, I was inspired by a story that I just read. I am so excited to share this story with you. <laughs> it's a story about sisters who are twins and they have these special magical powers. Oh my goodness, it's about love, friendship, standing up for yourself. This story has so many positive messages. I wanna read it to you. So go and sit down and relax. And let's talk about the story afterwards, okay? All right. The Rainbow Cloud, the story of Makabai and Mama. By Zanel Delamini, Selena Morulane, Sibisi So Makawanazi. A long time ago, in the land of the Zulu people, the king Jamakadaba was very powerful, wise, fair, and kind. But he had no children, and he was worried that he would not have an heir. He prayed and made offerings to the gods, but nothing happened. One night, while the king was asleep, a witch came in a dream. The gods have heard your plea, and the queen will bear twins. One will rule the Zulu nation, and the other will have magical powers. The witch said, Twins Makabai and Mama were born, but the queen cried for Makabai because the rule said, that the firstborn twin must be offered to the gods. Seeing the queen's sadness, the king said, From today, when twins are born, both babies will live. The people celebrated, but not all were happy with the king's new rule. The little girls grew beautifully. One day, Makabai had a stick fight and defeated a boy who bullied children. Go away, you cursed girl, said the boy. Come back, Makabai! <laughs> Makabai cried and ran into the forest where the frightening ghost, Hornhead and Longtom live. Mama stood in silence and closed her eyes. The magic bond between the twins led Mama to her sister. <laughs> no one wants to play with me. I'm cursed, cried Makabai. I want to play with you, Mama said. We'll have a nice dinner tonight, Long Tom, said Hornhead. Makabai picked up a stick. You can't kill ghosts with a stick, Long Tom <laughs> laughed. <laughs> How about this, Mama said, raising her hand. Thunder roared. 
and light struck the ghost, while a rainbow cloud protected the girls. How did you do that? Makabayi asked. The way you beat that boy, Mama said. The girls went home happy, knowing that whatever happened, they could protect each other. The End The Rainbow Cloud The Story of Makabayi and Mama Beautiful butterflies, wasn't that an amazing story about the sisters and how they stood up for themselves and protected each other? Did you see the rainbow that came out of Mama's hands? I, I cannot believe it. It was so magical and so many positive, remember positive means good, positive messages within this story. Tell me, tell me what did you learn? What was your favorite part? Oh, I love that part too. And you know what? I love the part when Makabayi stood up for herself. You know, bullies, they hurt people because they're hurting inside. And they feel good when they are actually hurting someone else. It's quite sad. But you know what? The best thing to do when you are being bullied at school, in your neighborhood, or even online, is to tell an adult. You know, because people who bully, it's not right for them to bully you and to make you feel bad about yourself. But always know when you are confronted by a bully is to stand up for yourself, go and tell an adult, and just know deep down inside that you are special no matter what or how people treat you. Okay? <laughs> I want to talk more about this beautiful story. It's about love. Did you get that too? Mm -hmm. You know what? Even when people are mean to us, it is always, always right to be able to love and stand up. Oh, my dog, she's here. Do you want to meet her? <laughs> My dog Mimi. Hi Mimi, say hi. <laughs> she loves story time too. So she just wants to say hi. Oh, I think she wants to get down now. Alright, tell everyone bye. Say bye. <laughs> so as Miss Kyra was saying, this story is about love. And you know, when you show love, regardless on how people treat you, <sighs> love conquers. I mean, it doesn't matter how someone feels, you know what a smile can do to somebody? It would just make them smile. And you know what? Even if it doesn't make them smile, if you're smiling at them or showing love and appreciation, you feel good inside. And you grow up being the best person in the world and feeling happy inside because we are the only ones who can actually make us happy did you know that so just like mama and makabayi were teased or being bullied in the story they show love not only for themselves but for each other and did you see what happened the ghosts went away, the bullies stopped bullying, and they felt confident about each other and within themselves. <laughs> How about we try Rainbow Time Butterflies? I just had a wonderful thought. Hmm. How about you and I form a rainbow with our hands? Okay. You want to put your hands out, your left hand in front of you, 
and your right hand in back of you. Make sure you're standing up tall, straight and tall. There you go. Confidence, butterflies. Take a deep breath. And your chin up. Oh my goodness. Look at your rainbow. Oh my goodness. I have a rainbow too. We're doing it together. Look. We just made a beautiful rainbow. Isn't that so exciting? Come on. Let's try it one more time. One more time. Hands out. Wow! Oh my goodness! That is so cool! We just made a rainbow with our hands! That is so much fun! We gotta do that again another time! <laughs> I love that story! We're gonna have more amazing stories here on Kyra's Corner! So make sure that you watch the next video, okay? I will see you next time, beautiful butterflies. Goodbye. Bye. If you would like to see another episode of Kyra's Corner, please subscribe and click like. I can't wait to see you beautiful butterflies again. Remember, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Bye.